up there at quarterbacks, Coach, but it's really about what your ability to do in New York State. Coach Boston spoke about that earlier today. How successful can you run the football? And that's really going to really show if you're going to win or not, all right? Because we know in our weather, it could be windy one day, snow in the other, and uh, 80 degrees and sunny the next. So without further ado, in the run game, I think you definitely have to have a run game philosophy. Anytime you have that, you have to have a purpose to what you're doing. You have to know what your game plan is. All right. He graded a few run plays rather than very mediocre at a lot. We can all watch on TV all these flashy plays, Oregon runs and Baylor runs and all this stuff. The bottom line is you have to know what you're good at. You have to know what your personnel is capable of doing, and your kids have to believe in it. And that's what the most important thing is. Be able to run the same play against multiple fronts. Have an identity. When the chips are down, all right, what play are you going to go to? Do your players know what play you're going to call? In our case, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. It's going to be a power play. Our guys know it. Our coaching staff knows it. And it doesn't. Even, it's not a second thought in my mind. Own the A gap. All right, shortest way to the end zone is in a straight line. All right, the more east and west you play, Defensive speed has the ability to chase you down and come right at you. All right, starting running backs need to dot the I. This is something I took and got from, from a convention, actually, from the offensive line coach at the University of Miami. All right, and dot the I came from them, and it's basically our line is going to do whatever they have to do to cover people up. But what separates a starting running back from a backup running back is their ability when they get in that second level to dot the I, make somebody miss turn three yards into six, six into nine, et cetera. And that's the motto we talk about with our guys. All right, obviously, any time you're running the football, ball security is a key, <coughs> and it's how much you choose to practice that. All right, what is, what is your purpose and what is your practice plan? At Utica, on Sundays, we have Mondays off. We will have a ball security session every Sunday night. Uh, we'll go for approximately 10 minutes. All coaches are on deck. All right, anyone that handles the football on the offensive side will take part in those drills. All right, we're stripping and we're clawing and we're doing everything we got to do to make sure they understand the purpose of it. There also has to be accountability when you run the football. All right, anytime you run the football, I can tell you our guys know, Coach Wilson did a great job this year. All right, ball goes on the ground. Don't look sideways, just start running off the field. All right, and that's an attitude we create. There's accountability to it. It happens in a drill. It happens in a live period versus the defense. It happens in the game. I don't care if you're our premier running back. The ball goes on the ground. Next guy's going in. Because you have to have in your mindset that it's a value to you. You have to value that. And you have to understand that, that it's meaningful to your team. Power, obviously, you talk about identity, you talk about the chips are down, we have 309 run plays this year. Almost a third of them involved our power concept. I'm going to touch on some different things today. Our power run versus three and four main fronts. Our power peak run, uh, which is a built-in run pass option. And then our peak pass play off the power. All right, well, you can see uh, how that a third of our offense, how important this play really is to us. Three man front to start. Where we are in our conference, played 11 games this year, we faced nine three man fronts. Understand at the high school level, you're seeing a little bit more four, and at times five man fronts. So I'm going to try to touch on those as we go as well. All right, the three man front. All right, we're a lot out of the pistol. All right. A lot out of the pistol. When we try to take the ball, we take the ball from the opposite side of the, of the gap we want to go to. So anytime. We have the ability to false step this linebacker may give us an advantage to get this double team here. Okay? If we're having trouble with any edge pressures, we're going to move the running back up into the gun, knowing we've got to get to the gap. To get that All right? What we'll do in a three man front with a tight end in the game, 11 personnel. All right? The key block, no ifs, ands, or buts about it, is our center. Our ability to drive that nose guard off. Create the play side double team, and we're looking to drive back through to the opposite linebacker. Okay. With that being said, we're going to pull the backside guard, and all he's looking for is first daylight. All right. Once he crosses that double team, his shoulders are square. First daylight up through the gap, and he's looking for opposite color jersey. All right. Second most important block in my mind in this play is the backside tackle. 
his ability to not let a run through go through the B gap, because that will destroy the play. So he's got a hinge step, make sure he protects the inside gap, bucket back out and take care of this end. Our wide receivers, anytime you want to have a meaningful run game, all guys got to buy into it. All right, we call it, we run what's called the shield block. All right, the shield block, this receiver right here is going to set up at about five yards, right in the zone. And he's keen out of these two defenders, who shows first who's most dangerous. All right, so he's not just stock blocking corner, because in some cases that corner bail safety fills, and that's an issue for us. So he's got to sit at the shield point, and he's looking most dangerous. These guys are touchdown blocks. All right, the ability to get on defenders, not be lazy on the backside, and spring in the big play. A couple plays here. We'll start a spread. If there's no tight, in the, tight end in the game, we're big on big with our tackles. right here, the late movement we use from the pistol, we don't want to give away the direction we're going too soon, so we try to move them as late as possible. You can see right here, we're on a weak side, we want to attack, and when we got the extra defender over here, we have four on three, we're going to look to attack the weak side and make this guy fill down into the pack. It's important our wide receiver, and here's a good clip, number six at the bottom, is one of the better wide receivers in the area. Had a great career for us on the football field. All right, but you see right here, he's a little lazy on the shield, taking the play off, and you can see how this guy falls into the play. So if, by rule, he's sitting here on the shield on the hash. He's on number two that corner. Gives our, gives our run back a little bit better angle to go. Tight view. We're going to let the double team through. Double team right here to number 44. We're looking to wrap the 24. Our guard on the double team does a good job. Seeing our center takes that over. It's a good wall. My puller needs to be lower. <clears throat> All right, take contact on lower in that hole. My tackle, my play side tackle can be a little bit lower. My backside tackle does a nice job of that hinge step. All right, 92 is not going to beat him inside. Another thing we have a philosophy for when we run the football, you're going to see this a lot. We're a believer in the ball is going to be carried in the strong hand. Not a big proponent of the ball's got to be in the outside hand. You're up the sideline, that's one thing. All right, you're in the mix. All right, you've had that ball in the strong hand, it stays in the strong hand. Once again, three by one, five man box. All right, in this case, you can see right now, obviously, four versus three on the strong side. Once again, we want to attack weak and make this guy fall in the big tackle. We talked about our philosophy is getting up that A gap. All right, this play is going north and south. This is not a B gap run. Double team through. You can see 54 filling out. My, my left guard here, if 54 is downhill, he's got to make a close call, which is going to tell our guard that really turns into a trap. All right, so his head is ready. He understands it's going to be a quicker hit. Running back under sit stance, he squeezes this tight. You do not want this to be a bounce. North and south. All right, these aren't going to be 80 yard touchdown runs. How do we successfully get five, six yards in the clip going north and south and make these linebackers play? Same thing, weak again. Wide receivers are doing a better job here. Get to the shield. Number five can work hard to get here. <coughs> it's 
Same thing in this case, if you're saying close, 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 54 is in the gap, you've got to be prepared for a trap lock. See how quick that hits. <coughs> Backside tackle takes good steps, power hinge, nothing inside. Double team through, that's an outstanding double team. We create space. We have an attitude about it. Power, it powers, it's an attitude play. There's no finesse to it. <coughs> Once again, we get running back on safety. Running back on safety. Now we've got to dot the I. <laughs> All right, the ability to make that first guy miss turns into four extra yards. Same thing, good example of the shield block. This is an A-gap run. All right, well, my receiver right here knows he has to block the shield. This guy's the most dangerous, will make this corner fall in. This ball is not intended to bounce, but if the bounce happens, we have the block set up for that. And you can see, if that ball had to get out the side, and it had to get out here, we're prepared to make that block. <coughs> A lot of three-man front, some adjustments that might have to be made in the three-man front. In this case, we don't have it. Obviously, we have walk-up edge pressure. Probably a good idea with that edge pressure to get our back into the gun to beat it. We also have to be prepared for a slant here. To bring him off the edge, he's probably going to slant me gap. One thing we could do to adjust, and we don't do it on this clip, we could make a call where my guard and tackler are going to exchange pullers. This gives us a better leverage angle here to close off the B gap and we'll wrap that tackle. Same thing. Make the safety, have to tackle the running back, play after play. Eleven personnel tight end in the game. All right, so we talk to him in the game now. My tight end has edge pressure. All right, ideally we should be here. Shield block. My tight end peaks it, determines that he thinks we can beat the gap, so he moves on to the next guy. My wide receiver does a nice job of fighting into the shield. Does a nice job of getting in here and taking this over. And then we explode north and south. Once again, you go down to having an identity, having a few run plays you're very good at. Our kids believe in this play. If this, if this play is called, there's no ifs, ands, or buts of what's going on. They know exactly how to communicate. They know what needs to be done. To make the big run happen, there's your wide receivers chasing downhill. Our right, Coach Wood is very aggressive with that, making sure we do a nice job blocking downfield. Play side tackle, make sure we, get, we wall that A gap off for us. We do a better job of keeping our eyes up. Once again, the block is created off of this nose guard. We have to create space off the nose guard. Guard does, pulling guard does a nice job of being square. And we're exploded north, north and south. She won't be on off the opposite side, like away from the hole. We're going to hand off. We're going to take it opposite. Our goal of that, because we'll run inside zone. All right, see if we can false ski this guy just a step. All right, you watch here. There's your false step because it blitz it away. <coughs> and just that one extra step may make the difference. What it also does is it can hold. In this case, 44 is downhill, but he may play over the top, and it may slow him down and not having to make that trap call. <coughs> this 
This case, this opponent's playing a little bit of man coverage, so we're playing some games with a bunch to the field. Don't like our ball security right there. All right, something to point out. That's not good stuff. That's got to be talked about, Phil. I like how 56, our right guard, comes off that combo. You'll see it better from the tight. <coughs> Come off and seal that combo. Center does a great job of torquing. All right, taking that block over. This is a great wall right here. That wall is set off the double team. You got this sealed. Puller gets square. This is the lane we got to hit right now. Make the safety beat us to the hash. All right, we're through. Anytime you can make corners and safeties continually have to tackle, we're doing a good job in the run game. You can see some late movement. All right, play some games in the backfield, start the gun, move them late to the pistol. Any little thing to throw off that linebacker, make him think out of the check. Right here, one thing we talked about, we could be in the shield a little bit better, something we have to correct for next year. I'd like to have him right here prepared for the safety.
All right, the point of attack with the free tack for the inside defensive tackle. My like tight end needs to be by himself. We're looking to double team up through to the second level, two for two. Same thing, my center's got to block back. We're wrapping the first daylight. All right, so now, with our key block and the three-man front was a nose guard, everything's based off of this block right now. Four-man front, we got to create space. Cannot get beat through the B yet. Got the power in. Touchdown blocks. We don't face the punt four man. All right. If you had, if you have an athletic quarterback where you'd like to incorporate the read, all right, because read's a hot topic. A lot of people like to do the read. All right. What you would do on that, everything stays the same front side. Climb this guy right here to this linebacker, and all you're doing is reading that man on the line of scrimmage. <coughs> Sits, we give, we got the extra guy accounted for right here, we got the added bonus, we get him here, allows the rat to finish off or even move up to the safety. <coughs> He's down and crashes, we're right out behind the two wide receivers. Alright, so that's how you would incorporate the read off the four-man front. I like going out the back door, some people like to go out the front side. We wanted to read right here, which we weren't a big read team. We had more of a thrower and a quarterback. We're going to get the ball in our running back's hands. If we were going to read here, we get this tackle right up here and we read this guy. All right, in this case, we understand that we're going to double team, trying to work here off the double team. Pullers the daylight, ideally we're here. All right, but he's got to take most dangerous in the hole. Center makes a great back block here, great <coughs> space. Great foot drive. Double team does a nice job, he slants away, that which doesn't allow us to come off, but priority number one is the line of scrimmage. We must take care of those four. We'll get here and make this guy dot the eye. But you can see how quick because we're wrapping to that A gap and not the B gap, our ability to get north and south up the hash and speed, all right, we're already making this defender fall in at five yards. We're chewing up yards north and south. How often will you run this? Coach Gurdon here, how often will I call this play? <laughs> Sometimes on the headphones, he asks me if we have another play in the playbook. Sometimes. All right. Like, if you go back to that first screen, what do you believe in? I'm all bought into this. All bought in. And our kids are all bought into it. And when we get to the peak play with the pass, we're going to see how it evolves a little bit more. <laughs> Team through. All right. Right now we got we got a two. We got inside shaded two eye guard. Maybe I'll take this by himself, which allows the uh, tackle to get to the next level. Good block. Good uh, back block by the center. I think my left tackle does a nice job right here. Power hinge. Can't get penetration through this B gap. Understands if they run around, we should already beat them to the hole. If you are a read team, all right, we're a little bit lazy. I got to do a better job with our quarterbacks. He's still got to carry out this fake a little bit better. May hold it just a hair. All right, we're a little bit lazy with, our, with carrying out our fakes. Quarterback, ego position. They don't want to get touched. All right, they don't want to get touched. Nice job coming off that combo, though. We wash this combo through and exchange our double teams. We create this wall, gap coming up through this guard, open daylight, shoulders square. Tight end can be a little bit lower, but he's got a nice job with his back where we need it to be. I need to lower his stance. It's not a huge 
block by a pulling guard. All right, but it's a serviceable block. It's on the proper shoulder. Allows our guy, here's the gap, baby, right here. North and south. Here we come. It's a really nice job by our slot receiver right here, so I want this clip on here. Talk about what it takes to get to the shield. He understands where his shield point is. Look at him get in here and dig this guy out. He's five yards away from him at the point of attack. This guy ideally should fall in for a two yard gain. He busts his <coughs> ass, understands he's a meaningful part of the play. Now he's falling in for a tackle of eight yards instead of two yards. Very important block. I hope you notice from these plays, there's not much dance and prance out of these running backs. All right, they're top one foot in the ground, get north, chew up yards. Nice footwork by our right tackle right here. He's not forced through the B gap. Could get an extra hand here if he needed it. All right, just from where his leverage is, knowing that he's falling outside, won't get to that play. This double team is outstanding. All right, guard tackle double team is outstanding right here. Create space. Come off to the linebacker two for two. My guard, my color does a nice job. His rules first daylight. He's there. All right, my running back really in this case has a two-way go. All right, knowing that this double team is, is so good, makes a good choice, gets us our yardage. Well, I just got a question. Absolutely. Uh, on your double team on the three technique, I mean, you know, like basically on, on power, a lot of times you're going to double the three as a weak side linebacker. Mm -hmm. and more for the front. What technique are you teaching? <coughs> Because it seems like you guys are double into the front side back here. Our goal, our, pur zone. our purpose of this play is an A gap run. Right. All right, so if we wanted to be a wider off tackle power, which the majority of the teams are, they're going to double the three technique back through wrap like you're talking about. You're so right on point. What technique are you teaching the guard tackle on the front side? Just, just stay on the double? We're teaching double team drive right back through, almost like an inside zone double right. team up two for two. Right, right. Coach, if he, if he slants down and hard, we're just going to take him that way. Go by the side. Side. Yeah, and the point guard will end up on <laughs> the If he does slant, like Coach Ruby is saying, right here, slants across, we will change it. We'll shovel through just like you're saying. How do you guys drill that? Just in the yeah. I think he's constantly giving that's a great. That's a great question, though, because how, how do you drill a different look? So we run five run plays. This is a third of our run game. Everyone in our conference knows it's a third of our run game. We have to practice it a third of the time in India because that's how important it is to us. So our counter play that we may hit 20 times all right, in the course of the season, now that's going to be there for five minutes. This is going to be 20 minutes Indy. We're getting after it. Our guys fully know and are comfortable with what we're doing because they know this is our go-to play. Tight end gets taught here, you better play lower. All right, right? You don't want that little hand in the face right here. Still does a good job with his feet playing for position, not giving up on the play. Questions at all about the format? Not as many clips like I talked about. All right, we just don't, we don't see it as much. I'm just saying, I'm just going to see a little bit more. Off the power. Is what we call our peak package. All right, we cannot run this every time. All right, we'll tag power. We'll have power, and then we'll have power peak. All right, this is a run pass option, and our goal on this. All right, we are releasing. If we're in a ten personnel, obviously we're big out big here on the tackle spots. 
All right. Everything in the interior looks like power. We're prepared to run power. So if we have an 11 personnel with, a, with an attached tight end, he's releasing into the play, so he's not part of the blocking scheme. Okay? I'm going to show you a couple different things you could do out of this. So right here, we're running power to the right side. All right, power right peak. Quarterback's read is this, he's got two reads. He's got a pre-snap read on the back side. All right, we're running a slant on the back side. In some, in some game plan situations, this could be a fade. All right, ideally we're working the slant. If he has open window at all, we're winning the one-on-one -on -one balls to him, okay? If he determines pre-snap that is not there, his eyes immediately go to the play side linebacker. Okay? If he disappears, he blitzes, he disappears, and does not fill downhill, it's a give. All right? The minute he fills downhill, we're into the pass concepts, and we'll get to that in a minute. So all we're doing is eyeing right here. You see in this case, he runs with our tight end, takes himself out of the play, and we're filling right behind it with the run. He's got press down below. All right, this could be something I see up top in a game, and we got to say, all right, we're in a three by one 11 personnel on a hash. We're going to get a press inside shoulder here. We got to take a one on one shot. This could be a play from the 20 yard line going for a touchdown. All right, red zone play, let's take our opportunity. All right, in this case, he's off of this, something I need to recognize better. All right, his eyes are properly here. Back up, give, fall right behind with power. You can see on the front side of this with the wide receivers. All right, my tight end has got a quick pop or a dump pass. We're looking to expand the flat defender with a bubble, and we're stalking number one just in case it works itself all the way out to the bubble. That's a tough read for us to get that ball out to the bubble. All right, really is tough to go. Is it a run, slant, dunk, bubble? We don't have enough time to get that thing out. All right, that would be a game plan situation. This guy's falling in. We would tag, throw to the bubble. Both tackles right now should be big on big. See my right tackle doing a good job, job exchanging for the tight end. My right guard's by himself. There's no double team now. He's by himself. <coughs> We're blocking back. We're still pulling to the open gap. All eyes are right here. All eyes are right here. My quarterback does a good job of making sure he's in the gun because he's got to make a decision knowing he possibly has edge pressure here. Can't work this out of the pistol. We get a lot of freedom and latitude to our quarterback to move that back. Quick feet, this ball is being thrown at five yards. And you're going to see it a, a little bit in the clip right. here, that ball's out. All right, he knows. All right, we'll sit one on one in the office and we'll talk. You got your teeth in this week. All right, because he's going to get hit. And he knows it, but there's a big play behind him. Right now he knows we know they're in man coverage. 
So he knows we're going to remove this guy with the tight end, which tells us we're in a five-man box. Man-to-man <coughs> -man coverage, five-man box, here we go. We're giving the ball. And that's why he's giving this thing. Put our guy in safety. Let's go. First down. It's a good job right here. Center guard and our double gets slammed away. Center takes that over by himself. Guard immediately moves up. It's a better strong arm by our left tackle right here. Our All-American force, one of only two in our college. We're very proud of that, having an All-American offensive line that lets us know we're doing the right things. All right. This kid's going to be special. He's a freshman. Very excited to have him. He's a hard worker on the field. All right, here we go now. Involving our tight end. Right now, he determines three access slants gone because he thinks this guy's threatening the window right here. He's nervous about this guy falling in for this pick, but the slant's gone. The guys immediately come right here. Downhill, quick pull, delivers steel yards. Tight end knows he's going to get hit. He understands, the quarterback knows he's got to throw one ball, he's got to put it on his numbers, he's got to deliver it, we're going to steal five yards. Because if we don't do this, and we give it, it's a tackle for loss. He's got to read himself through this to put us in the best situation. Our quarterbacks love to get this play. All right? You have a lot of freedom to do a lot of things. I am 47 right here. He's downhill, we pull right behind. Deliver. Tight end does a nice job of swearing his numbers to the throw, giving a good solid target, understanding he's going to get contact. Here's a question we sometimes get on this play. Well, you're wrapping a guard up through, are you going to get called for a lineman downfield? This ball is out like that. This ball is out like that. We run this play now, and this is my second year here, probably 50 times. All right, and we have to knock on wood, we haven't got called for one yet. Here we go. All right, right now, quarterback goes three snap. All right, we got, we got a dude back here, they got a double team going on, this slant is gone. Okay? He knows he's got middle open right now. He's got to get a great state to lure this guy down. All right. He's downhill. Good release. Busting the balls is my senior tight end here. He's got to find his ass in the end zone. Not get tackled on the two because he's smart enough to know the ball's on the two ain't getting the ball back. Right? He's got to make it happen. He knows that. They know the roles. He's got a shot right here to score. He lost in someone else's time to score a great block. <coughs> you see what this bubble does? Just enough expansion right here. Just enough to give us a little bit more of a window. And we're north and south. Right here, Ryan, 41. He's downhill. The one man to read. Quarterback is a nice job sitting into this fake, coming up prepared to throw. Really good footwork here. Hands and feet are in unison. Eyes are prepared. He knows three snaps exactly where this ball's going. This is a no brainer. How do we involve the X on the back side on a slant? Well, here we go. All right? Walk up linebacker. Will linebacker walk up like line of scrimmage is trying to chase our power down because we've run it enough times, right? Well, here we go. Here's our free access window. This is a pre snap read. Catch and deliver. Catch and deliver. On the money. All right? He's already on 
the catch. This is a flash fake. Watch quarterback's feet. This takes work. All right. He, works, he does a real nice job loading, reset. Ball's in the throw pocket right now. That's good stuff. Hit him in stride. Let's go to work. Really good delivery. Ball and money allows him to work. Allows him to make the play run right after the catch. Here you see him walked up. Three axis windows here. That's good feet. Good solid delivery. Once again, three axis here. Steal it. Let's move the chains. That safety's walked down. He's done a nice job in the run game. We brought him back down into the box. Quick fake, deliver. We talked earlier about having a philosophy, having a mission about what we're doing. Not only does it take the kids, it takes the whole, it takes offensive staff to all be on the same page. All right, I got a great group of assistants doing an outstanding job. All right, the message is clear to our guys what we're trying to accomplish. This is out of 10 personnel now, tight ends off the field. So he's clearing this window now in this quick dump pass. Free access is gone. Linebacker downhill. Get the ball in the receiver's hands. What am I doing on time? A couple more minutes. Couple more minutes. Nice, easy delivery. Same thing, 10 personnel, tight end off the field. Here he is, walked up, looking to chase from behind. We got a one-on-one -on -one matchup. No free, act, free access all day. Catch and deliver, put it on his body. Same thing, number six got to realize right here. Don't get tackled at the one, because someone else is scoring. All right, it's an attitude. You got to create that in your meetings, your practices. You better smell the end zone. Good delivery in the window here by the quarterback. Any questions at all? I appreciate it. My email's up here. If, you say, if anyone would like this slide, I can email that to you. Uh, we feel like we're doing some exciting things at Utica. We invite you out to spring practice at any time. Anytime you have an interested player in playing college football, reach out to us and we'll make sure uh, we get some film and watch that. But we wish you the best of luck and thank you.